Hello, I'm Jeffrey Hamm, Equity Analyst for Briefing.com. Today is Tuesday, August 19th. The stock market posted a 0.9% loss Tuesday as continued concerns regarding financials, an increase in wholesale inflation, and a rebound in crude oil prices weighed on investor sentiment. The July producer price index brought disappointing news. Although the CPI report last week showed some cost push inflation pressures, so the PPI reading is not a complete surprise. Total PPI rose 1.2% in July, though the consensus called for a 0.6% increase. Core PPI, which excludes food and energy, rose 0.7%. The consensus called for a 0.2% increase. In other economic news, July housing starts and building permits posted steep declines, though this was partially due to a change in permit application requirements during June. Starts fell 11% and building permits dropped nearly 18%. Home building stocks fell 3.6% in response to the report. Eight of the ten economic sectors posted a loss in broad-based weakness. The financial sector, which ended 3% lower, acted as the main drag. AIG tumbled after Goldman Sachs said there is an increased chance that the insurance giant may need to raise more capital. Lehman Brothers fell nearly 13% following several negative media reports, including a Wall Street Journal article that said Lehman's third quarter has turned ugly. Meanwhile, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac were unable to recover from the previous session's steep decline. Freddie sold new five-year notes at a little over 4.17%, which is 113 basis points more than the five-year Treasury note. The large spread over Treasuries indicates market participants continue to show some apprehension regarding debt from Freddie, despite the implied guarantee from the U.S. government. Consumer discretionary stocks also came under pressure, with the rise in crude prices and discouraging news from several retailers prompting the selling interest. Home Depot and Target both reported year-over-year declines in quarterly net earnings, although the results topped Wall Street's forecast. Still, the company's stock posted a decline. Meanwhile, department store operator Saks tumbled 8% after posting a larger-than-expected quarterly loss. Office supply retailer Staples fell 4.2% in response to its second-quarter profit outlook that fell short of consensus estimate. The energy sector climbed 2.8%, receiving a boost with the help of oil and gas exploration stocks, benefiting from the 2.2% rise in crude prices. With regard to crude, prices traded in volatile manner on no specific news. Oil posted a loss of 1.1% at session lows and was up 3.4% at session highs. Tomorrow, oil will once again be in focus with the government's weekly energy data set for release at 10.35 a.m. Eastern Time. I'm Jeffrey Hamm for Briefing.com. Thanks for listening and have a great evening.